This is a quick introduction to the geographic event domain language, a domain-specific programming language for the definition of geographic events in HEDSYS. Before trying things out, make sure that you have followed the installation instructions in the Git repository. You will need to install MPS, Python, and have a copy of the Frost server and the CD runner. The first thing that you need to do is to clone the HEDSYS repository using Git. Then start MPS and open the GEDL directory inside HEDSYS. MPS uses Java. Therefore, you will need to make and rebuild the project the first time you use GDL. Now you should be ready to start using the language to define geographic events. To use the language, right-click on examples and create a new event definition. Let's say that we want to detect a geographic event whenever the concentration of particulate matter is about 15 micrograms per cubic meter within an area around Den Haag and Rotterdam and between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. on the 4th of April 2014. On the top of the event definition file, press Enter. That will prompt you to define a new data stream. We should provide the name of the phenomena we are interested in and an observation type. The name of the phenomenon and its observation type should match the name and the observation type that is available in the sensing service. In our example, that is particulate matter 2.5 of type measurement. Create a new event, give it a name, and input the name of the data stream as a parameter. As detection rules, first, we define a condition to indicate that we want values of particular matter to be above 15. Second, we define a detection extent. The detection extent will limit the occurrence of our event to a particular geographic area. We can give to the extent a name and define the geographic area as a feature using well-known text in a code for a spatial reference system. Optionally, we could also define a buffer around the geographic area. Third, we want to define a detection time as a time window between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Finally, we want to define a notification that will report the occurrence of the event. We do that by providing a name the name of the event linked to the notification and a list of data streams. The observations of the data streams listed in the notification will be included in the notification report. Now we can generate the source code using the event definition. Right click on the event definition and then preview generated text. That would create two files, one with code in CDQL and another one with code in Python. We now deployed the file with the CD extension to the event processing engine. Open a terminal and start the CD runner. Copy the source code in CDQL to a file. In a new terminal, Use curl to make a request to the event processing engine using the post method and include the file. Copy the Python code to a file. It contains code that will be used by the GDL interpreter to stream data from the sensing service to the event processing engine. By default, the Python code fetches the latest observation in the sensing service. But in this example, I want to simulate the data streaming for the full month of April. Therefore, I set the latest parameter of the run method to false. 
make sure that the Frost server is up and running and that the data has been registered. Then use Python to run the code. You should see observations being pulled from the Frost server and sent to the event processing engine. When the data stream matches the detection rules that we have defined in our event definition, you will see the notifications appeared in the terminal running the event processing engine.